What's up? What's up? What's up? About to do another video. Me and my wife finna get rid of head down here to a place called the Taste of Boston. It's over here in Bally's Point by downtown Tampa. Super fantastic place. I've been there quite a few times. Right by the water, the ambiance is super beautiful. Super beautiful. They got a pier that stretches out over the water. You can go out there fishing and do your thing. I ain't gonna do no fishing today, but you know your boy will get in that water. You know your boy fish, but I ain't gonna do no fishing today. I'm gonna just get out there, see the water, get something to eat, enjoy the quality time with my wife. See what happening. The weather don't look like it's gonna hold up too good. See it in the background. But hopefully it hold up long enough for just for us to get some lunch and just get some beautiful ambionic scenes. You know what your boy means. So y'all stay with me. I get y'all boys when I I turn it back on when I get down there so y'all okay, boys can I'm see and gentlemen see exactly what I'm seeing when I get there. Beat me there up. Okay. Uh, Wait, how Meet me there, beat me there, see me there. Wait, hold on. Huh. Meet me there, don't meet me there. See you there. So, we just getting on to 275 South. And as I mentioned earlier, yeah, yeah, rainy weather. And I was really expecting to do some little outside activities, like walk on the pier. But don't seem like that gonna happen. Well, you live in Florida, rain don't last too long anyway. I mean, it may not even be raining when we get down there. It may not even be raining. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Who knows? But guess what? We gonna keep making it happen. We ain't gonna turn around now. Traffic biked up. Got some water falling out the sky. But we still gonna keep riding. Riding. We go keep rolling, 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 rolling on a river. All right. So it seemed like it's clearing up a little bit. It seemed like it's clearing up a little bit. Got a beautiful downtown area over there. So, um, no, it ain't clearing up. It, it's lightening up a little bit, but it's, it's still raining. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We on our way today. So we headed to Taste of Boston. Um, there's really nothing spectacular about the food. The food is definitely good, but nothing extremely out of the ordinary there. Uh, for the food, nothing extremely out of the ordinary as far as the cuisine. Um, but like I said, the, the 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 area is a beautiful area, right over the water. Um, you can walk out, you can walk out over the pier. You can fish out there. They got a bait shop right next door to the um, to the restaurant. You can sit inside or outside the restaurant, which is a nice um, amenity that they have. So um, I prefer to sit outside. Wife prefer to sit in inside when it's hot. But I think we're going to sit outside today because we ain't got too much sun. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, y'all stay with me. I'm almost there. So, I figured I'd throw this in there real quick that, um, a nice little history or nice fact that I should say about Tampa Bay, that this is the longest sidewalk, continuous sidewalk in the world. The longest continuous sidewalk in the world, not in the United States, but the world. I'ma Google it to make show for show, but the history that I found out that the sidewalk that's on Bayshore Drive is the longest sidewalk in the world. Again, I'ma research it to find that to make show before I make it concrete. But well, if I put the video up, then it's already in concrete. But let me check it. Boo! Check it out. She already on it. She already on it. 
great minds think alike. Located south of downtown Tampa Bay Shore Boulevard is the world's largest sidewalk at 4.5 miles. Largest long. or longest? Longest. Okay, how many miles is it? 4.5 miles long. Longest sidewalk confirmed. Google has confirmed. So if Google said, it, take it to the bank. Longest sidewalk in the world. 4.5 mile. Bay Shore. We got the record. <laughs> Record for the longest continuous sidewalk in the world. <laughs> this is also uh, where they held the Gasparilla Fest. So the Gasparilla Parades is also held on Bayshore. So you'll see a lot of activity during those um, during that week. A um, lot of activity on both sides of the street, up and down, pretty much the entire, pretty much the entire four miles. You'll see activity up and down Bayshore. Um, that's the Gasparilla um, Festival that they have. With the Gasparilla Parade, they have the daytime and the nighttime parade for the kids too. So super, super entertaining. If y'all want to participate, I'll put the dates down in the description. If I don't forget. But I'll put the dates down in the description. So I'm almost there. I'll be red right bike. So we are entering Ballast Point Park. Ballast Point Park is where the um, restaurante is. So I'm so here and the weather is clear. No, it ain't, but it's still nice. It ain't clear, but it's still nice. It ain't clear, but it's still nice. This is what your boy got going on today. What we got going on today. This is the pier that I was telling y'all about. I was really hoping to get out here and walk on the pier, but it don't seem like it's going down. It don't seem like it's going down a day, but it's pretty nice. Pretty long pier. I would say it's about, I would say it's about 500 feet. What y'all think? Yeah, it's about 500. Then over in that area where they got the boat launch, you could do your boat launch. You can also fish from out here, but right now, Right now we going to eat. We getting some food because your boy is hungry. Very hungry. Stay with me. Hungry. So we have been seated. We the first ones here. Actually, they said we wasn't the first one here, but I think we was the first one here. They lying. But this is what the menu look like. So like I said, there's nothing super spectacular on the menu. Everything is pretty delicious, but nothing you can't get anywhere but as i mentioned the ambiance is what we come here for the ambiance say it with me ambiance the ambiance all right so we go order and i'm gonna get back with y'all to show y'all exactly what we order and then i'll be right back so we got our food and i'm ready to eat yes show y'all a picture of the food that we've got going on Got sweet potato fries going on right here. Got the lobster roll with some chunks of lob chunks of lobster. Got crab cakes going on right here. Got the um, sweet potato fries going on right here. Y'all stay with y'all boy. I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about the food. I already know it's good because you know this is my spot, but not really my spot, but I done been here before. So y'all stay here with me, taste the food, show y'all exactly what we got going on. I thought the lobster roll used to be, it used to be warm, like. You gotta stand up and look at it. Yeah. Like really, really <laughs> hungry. <laughs> you gotta look real hungry. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, lobster mm. roll. Pretty good. Oh, Lord. I dropped the lobster. Oh, my God. Yes, I dropped the lobster. So your boy is finished with his lunch. It was super delicious. Venus crab cake was very awesome. I wish I had got that crab cake, but I didn't. Next time. So right now I'm enjoying my um ice cream cone, butter pecan with the waffle cone. You know your boy had to get a little sugar on. Don't ain't often that I get a chance to do that, so got an opportunity to do it today. So got my boo chilling with me today. 
Don't lick your lips. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh oh, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. So after I finish my little waffle cone, we're going to take a walk down the boardwalk, see what's going on. Uh, the weather has cleared up a lot. The weather's definitely cleared up a whole bunch. No no rain at all. So when I finish with this, I'm going to go out and take a walk the boardwalk. Hopefully we get a chance to see some sharks or something in the water, swimming around in the water. So, let's see what's happening. All right. So, I'm back. I'm finna get her to take a walk down the pier so y'all come with me so y'all can see exactly what I see. Y'all seen the pier earlier on the video, so now I'm finna take a walk down here so y'all can see the close up on the pier as I take a walk. Let's go together. They do make sure that they keep um, like a recycle bin where you can put your fishing string in when you if you're out here fishing. Um, they got some little tables right here where you can clean your fish. They got handless paddles right here for the water. For the water. So you can um so you can clean your fish out here so you can be able to clean your fish. The park usually closed at dusk time, but when it do get in the evening time, they do got lights that kind of light up the pier. So um you can definitely see what you're doing. Um, beautiful view of the downtown area over there in the distance right over there yeah so that's me at Ballast Point y'all seen what I had to do y'all seen my trip here seeing my dining activities and seeing the boardwalk that's all I got for y'all my wife want to say peace out to y'all it's hot it's hot out here <laughs> it's getting hot out here but um yeah that's all we got to say so y'all um Stay with me when I got my next video. Y'all make sure y'all check out my other video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Everything in totality. Oh, Everything. Oh, totality. Bite with your boy, Dr. Rich in the Rich Life. So there's quite a few things that you can do here at Ballast Point. Um, definitely a great place for the kids. Definitely a great place for the family. So if y'all ever gonna participate out at Ballast Point, of course, you see we got the playground area. Got a playground area, definitely good for the kids. Barbecue area, picnic area. Um, I highly recommend, or they highly recommend, that you um, reserve in advance. Um, you know, Ballast Point Park. Google it, reserve in advance, so you guarantee your spot. Um, everything out here is complimentary, so you ain't got to worry about paying for anything. Um, at, out here at Ballast Point, they got the water park for the kids. It's not a super huge water park, but it is pretty cool. Um, if it starts to thunder or anything like that, they do generally do close the park. But like I said, it's a pretty nice place for the kids. Pretty nice place for the family. Barbecue, entertainment, fishing, pretty much anything you want. You can make it, actually you can make it a whole half a, not a whole day, I won't stay here all day, but pretty much a half a day. You can definitely make it a successful half a day. Um, four to five hours with the kids, family, come out here, chill, hang out. Ballast Point is somewhere I definitely recommend if you got a little free time on Saturday or on the weekend or wherever you got time. You know, if you got a few hours of burn and you really want to get out of the house and do something kind of fun, uh, come out to Ballast Point. You know, they got entertainment. Bring your fishing rod, bring your kids, bring your family, and just hang out and chill. Bring your camera. And make sure, tag your boy so I can like your pictures too. All right.